In this video, you will get answers to the following questions. What is WordPress? What kinds of websites can WordPress make? What's the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com? Who made WordPress and how long has it been around? Why should you use WordPress? So watch the video until the end. What is WordPress? WordPress is the simplest, most popular way to create your own website or blog. In fact, WordPress powers over 40% of all the websites on the Internet. Yes, more than one in four websites that you visit are likely powered by WordPress. On a slightly more technical level, WordPress is an open source content management system, which means that anyone can use or modify the WordPress software for free. A content management system is basically a tool that makes it easy to manage important aspects of your website, like content, without needing to know anything about programming. The end result is that WordPress makes building a website accessible to anyone, even people who aren't developers. What kinds of websites can WordPress make? Many years ago, WordPress was primarily a tool to create a blog, rather than more traditional websites. That hasn't been true for a long time. Nowadays, thanks to changes to the core code, as well as WordPress's massive ecosystem of plugins and themes, you can create any type of website with WordPress. For example, not only does WordPress power a huge number of business sites and blogs, but it's also the most popular way to create an e-commerce store as well. With WordPress, you can create business websites, e-commerce stores, blogs, forums, social networks, membership sites, pretty much anything else you can dream up. What is the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com? Since the dawn of time, there's been confusion regarding the difference between WordPress.com versus WordPress.org. This confusion is well warranted. Well, the names are almost exactly the same. WordPress.org is open source software managed by the non-profit WordPress Foundation. While WordPress.com is a commercial business owned by Automatic Company. With WordPress.org, the process isn't quite as simple as just creating an account. But, because of how popular self-hosted WordPress is, the process is still pretty beginner-friendly these days. With WordPress.com, creating a new website is literally as simple as creating an account. WordPress.org is 100% free. While WordPress.com's cost ranges from 100% free to $24.92 per month. With WordPress.org, you need to purchase web hosting and a domain name separately. While with WordPress.com's free plan, your website a subdomain of WordPress.com displays WordPress ads and has limited storage. And hence you don't need to purchase a domain name and web hosting separately. With WordPress.org, you're free to install whatever WordPress themes and plugins you want. While WordPress.com doesn't let you install themes and plugins on most plans. With WordPress.org, you can highly customize your website using WordPress themes and plugins. While in WordPress.com, you don't have much flexibility to customize your website. In WordPress.org, you have 100% control of what happens on your site. While in WordPress.com, you don't have 100% control of what happens on your site. WordPress.org is just as secure as WordPress.com. But, you're the one who's responsible for implementing that security. Websites that you create with WordPress.com are often more secure by default. With WordPress.org, you have zero restrictions. You can monetize your site via literally any method that you prefer. With WordPress.org, beyond limited flexibility, one of the major downsides of WordPress.com is that you're limited in the ways that you can make money from your website. In the end, self-hosted WordPress.org is the best option for most serious websites. If you just want a casual hobby site and or don't mind sacrificing flexibility in return for ease of use, WordPress.com is still a solid option. Who made WordPress, and how long has it been around? WordPress was created as a standalone project all the way back in 2003, originating as an offshoot of a previous project called Catalog. WordPress is open source software, so nowadays it's made by a huge community of contributors. 
But if we were to trace WordPress's origins back to its roots, its original creation was a collaboration between Matt Mullenweg and Mike Little. Since then, Matt Mullenweg has largely become the face of WordPress. And he's also the founder of Automatic, which is the company behind the for-profit WordPress.com service. The history of WordPress between its founding as a blog platform back in 2003 and today is a long one. But suffice it to say, WordPress has pushed forward, thanks to its contributors and huge community, developed into the most popular solution to create any type of website. Why should you use WordPress? So over 40% of all the websites on the internet are using WordPress, including well-known entities like the White House and Microsoft. No matter what type of website you want to create, there are plenty of reasons to use WordPress. Here are some of the biggest. WordPress is free and open source. One of the biggest benefits of WordPress is that it's free, open source software. While you will need to pay a little bit for hosting, you will never have to pay just to use the WordPress software, which isn't the case with alternatives like Squarespace. Beyond that, you can also find lots of open source plugins and themes to change how your website looks and functions. WordPress is extensible. Even if you aren't a developer, you can easily modify your website thanks to WordPress's huge ecosystem of themes and plugins. Themes, these primarily change how your website looks. Plugins, these primarily change how your website functions. Plugins can be something small, like a contact form, or huge, like creating an e-commerce store. Currently, there are over 50,000 free WordPress plugins and 5,000 free WordPress themes, as well as tons of premium options. That to say, you have plenty of choices. WordPress is easy to install. Think you need to be a tech genius to create your own website? Think again. If you can click a few buttons, you can install WordPress on your site. WordPress is flexible. We've touched on this already, but WordPress is great because it lets you create pretty much any type of website. Better yet, your website can also evolve with you. Want to add a forum to your existing WordPress site? No problem, just install the BB Press plugin. Want to add a social network? No worries, just use the Buddy Press plugin. You're never locked into a specific set of functions, you can always adapt and evolve. It's easy to find WordPress help. Because WordPress is so popular, it's easy to find help if you ever run into any issues. There are heaps of blogs, tutorials, forums, Facebook groups, developers that you can turn to for free and paid help if needed. Can I install WordPress on my personal computer? Absolutely. There are several good reasons why you might want to install WordPress on a local computer. You are building a new site from scratch, install a new theme or plugin or you just want a safe space to experiment with your existing website without fear of breaking it. In this case, we recommend a free tool called Bitnami WordPress Stack that allows you to install WordPress on your Mac or PC. If you want a detailed video on this, please click on i button. It took us almost 20 hours to make this video for you, please like and subscribe, it will take you only 2 seconds.